Hey everybody, Mike Wrench. Mike, got my jackets on. It is cold here in Oklahoma, but we're back with another video on this car right there. That is my 2001 Mercedes E320 that could have driven to the moon and back. This girl has 315,000 miles on the odometer, and it looks like she's earned every one of them. <laughs> but we've got a big problem when driving the car it's freezing. It is cold inside. And Daddy needs some heat. You really have to be kidding me, right? See all the little pistons? Mine, it looks like snow. <laughs> I'm flooring a V12 engine. You thought this was going to be perfect, right? Why can't I, like, fall in love with a Lexus? Monkey. Monkey. Wrench. Wrench. Mike. Mike. Yay! So we've assembled the gang. Lola's here with a new haircut. Model, model, model. And we have Lucky Duck right there in his pile of poo. Anyway, look at him. Lucky Duck is fattening up. He has his feathers. Those will go away as we go into winter. But he has put on the pounds. He's getting ready for the cold weather. So he's making himself extra fat. And we're going to clean out the pool today. Every two days I clean out that pool and give him some fresh water. Anyway, we're not focusing on that. Today we're focusing on this right here. Yep, let's open the hood and I'll show you what's going on and I'm going to tell you how we can fix it with a dreidel. Okay, it's not really a dreidel, but it looks like one to me. Dreidels are square with markings on them. Yes, I know, but this is going to fix our problem. Actually, this kit right here is going to fix our problem in what some people call the mono valve, the dual valve, or the heater control valve. Yep, this is what controls the hot water Yep, the radiator fluid, the antifreeze that goes into the block to keep the cabin warm, all right? Now, these things get clogged, and sometimes they stay open, or more, more often than not, they stay closed. And you can't get any warm air in the cabin right there. So what we need to do is to take off those two silver cylinders right there. Just a minimal amount of tools are needed for the job. We're going to take it off and show you exactly what's going on inside. As you can see right there, all you need basically is a T10. Here she is, a T10. We're gonna take off these four screws. One, two, three, four. There may be one in the middle. I don't remember, it's been a while. Yeah, there is, there's one in the middle. So there's literally just five little bitty screws. We'll undo this and we'll show you what's going on on the inside. They're not even super tight. I don't need anything fancy to get this thing off. But this is the hose that lets the water from the radiator, actually this goes right into to the engine, water comes through here, it's hot, those two little dreidels, <laughs> open or close, based on the temperature you sent right there in your HVAC control, and then the warm water goes on into the block, the heater inside the cabin there. So let's get this off and I'll show you what's going on. We're gonna lose a little bit of radiator fluid, not a lot, but that's okay. We'll sacrifice a little bit so we can drive nice and warm in this car. Okay, we've removed the electrical connector right here. It's a little worn, but it'll stay on there. It's good. Now the two silos right here, like I like to call them, you wanna get these off very gently, very, very gently, because there's springs and plungers and all kinds of things going on underneath. And voila, look at that, that, is pretty cool, pretty amazing. There's your electrical input that pushes these little dreidels <laughs> up and down, and they lie underneath here. So you wanna make note of how this goes. This little pointy thing goes on top. There's your spring. There's the cover part of your dreidel. We'll put it over there. Okay, then carefully Okay, how does this thing? Let's take this one out too. Okay, you got the spring on there. Stay on there, little spring. Usually what I do, since I had to move, back it up, back it up, back it up. There you go, that's the uh, cover for your 
transmission, TCM, and computer and stuff. I just take that off. It gives you a little more access, and that becomes my tool holder. Okay, now this little metal plate should come up, and here's where you need your other tool. Your little screwdriver. You just have to get under here. Okay, we'll be back, because I can't film this. Hold on. All right, very carefully, you loosen that with a screwdriver, and this part just kind of comes up. Now, see how dirty that is? This is a little gasket that you get in your kit. Sometimes you have to replace it, sometimes you don't. That's still fine, that's still good. So I'm gonna place him over here very quietly. And what you wanna do is clean your dreidels. Ta-da, dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. That's not bad, but see how it monitors, opens and closes for the antifreeze, the hot water to get back there to the heater core? Yep, so all we're gonna do is kinda clean this out and I think we should be good to go. This looks all right. I'll kind of compare the gaskets to the kit. And if they're fine, I'm just going to clean everything up. So we'll do that. We'll get this all cleaned up and get her back together. And then we'll give the car a start and see if she heats up like she's supposed to. We've got her all cleaned up. The toughest part, though, is making sure the uh, stem of the dreidels goes right in the middle of that part right there. If I had a light, I could show you, but I don't. But it just goes right in the middle right there, okay? Because you want these little pieces with the spring to attach right down on top of them. Okay, so let's kind of get this right here. Get you back in place. See how this goes up and down? There you go. You want that to move freely. Be free! Be free! And these are nice and clean. Okay, that's good. So I'll get this one back on here. You gotta kinda feel. You just have to be very careful. I wish I could see. There we go. Okay, and you can see, nice and free. She moves nice and freely. That's good. Now all you have to do is button it back up. Uh, with this piece right here setting right on top, we'll get the screws on it. And we'll put it back together, tightened up, and take it for a test spin. Okay, let's see. That's, well, that one's a little dirty right there. Let me clean that one up. How do you think we did, Lola? Sorry about that sunburst. Okay, there's a key in the car. Let's just leave all the keys in the car. <laughs> Good thing I live in a safe neighborhood. Okay, here we go. You gotta be kidding me. I just charged the battery. I just charged the battery. I mean, it's only 10 years old. Doggone it. All right, well, guess what we get to do? Get the battery tender. Yay. We're back. Got the NOCO attending to the battery. And here we go. Three, two, check out the mileage. <laughs> And she's still alive. She's alive! Okay, now all this is just because of the battery. Okay, pay no attention to that. We're gonna fix this, and we're gonna fix that very, very easily with a rubber band. Stay tuned for that video. I actually forgot about that, so that's something that I'll have to fix. But we're gonna let the car... Why is the power steering not working very well? Ugh. It was working before. There you go. She just has to get warmed up. Now see how the lights went out? There you go, a little right, left, right, and the ABS and the BAS light go out. Okay, voila. We will turn this on, and we're gonna go hot. We're going all out, baby. We're gonna give her time to warm up. Direct this to our feet and our face. Let's do that. Feet and face, we'll give her time to warm up and then we'll be back. All right, how'd we do? I think we fixed it, hold on. And just in case you're wondering what a Mercedes engine with 315,000 miles sounds like and looks like, behold. Okay, no leaks there. That was there when I kind of lubricated the uh, piston. 
or the dreidel and the other piston on top of that. Okay, so we have no leaks there. The engine <laughs> is doing great. It really, really is. 315, 300,000 miles. And she looks great. Now let's go in and feel the heat. Hop in. There you go. Get over. All right, let's see how we did. How do you think we did, pretty girl? I think we did great. Let's feel. Okay, that's warm air. That is definitely warm air. Hey, Lola girl, we fixed it. Yes, ma'am, we fixed it. We fixed her good. Well, other than the smell, this has been a great little car to have. I haven't driven her much. I haven't driven her off <laughs> outside the yard, but we have heat. We kind of have a transmission. We're still working on that. We are still working on the transmission, right? Right? Isn't she beautiful? Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. And we solved another problem. So, the old 300E Alibaba lives to see another day. Woohoo! All right, folks, thank you for watching. Please continue to like and subscribe and leave those comments below. I do. I read each and every one of them. They're getting harder and harder to uh, reply to or give you a little heart when I do read them. I'm trying as much as I can, but the subscriptions are going and um, it's just getting more and more difficult to uh, respond to everybody's little message. Oh, I got dirty. I did. I got some dirt on my face. Anywho, thank you again. We'll see you in the next video. Say bye, Lola. Say goodbye. Give me a kiss. That was denied. She denied me. Denied!